this. Because it's like, I know they're sending, they're sending in more men. And the Russians are actually dealing with a good amount of the Chinese info, infinite amount of army men. I mean, I'm not dealing with the full amount of China. If I was dealing with the full amount of China, I don't think I'd be winning this hard. Okay. But... Yeah. No, I wanted the 20... Okay. We actually, to be honest with you, we actually need you guys over here. Because we need to kind of protect some of our lands that we have lost in the previous situation. Okay, there we go. I think we're all good. Let's, let's begin this again. Yeah, we're adding the war goal to, to basically free Gunzai away from China again. That way, we're basically going to help Gunzai and help ourselves at the same time. Okay, we're not going to move in until China pushes a little bit against our front. Because there's no point. They have a massive horde coming in right over here. There's a horde over here. I'm not. Russia will not be able to deal with it until they've kind of dealt with their uh, German situation, which kind of stinks. I'm not the war leader still. Gah. And now battles are starting to turn against us because of reasons. I think I already know why. Uh, the Germans already knew they would win that front. Didn't really think I'd win it. <laughs> Gonna be honest. Uh, okay. Let's go. Okay. Okay, we won another battle. We won another battle. Go to it. Go to this one. The one that apparently took the lives of many people. Okay. Keep my soldiers right there. We don't want to push any more and we don't want to push any less. Okay. This is basically at the point now where we I should keep dividing my men up so I don't want them to suffer nutrition because these guys don't come back okay you guys go right here Hanoi all right my men are staying right here I'm keeping the Bunai forces right there I mean this is gonna be an epic war no matter what we do okay these forces are gonna collapse eventually oh man we're gonna need more soldiers okay all you guys go up here <laughs> I'm just gonna send all these 249 brigades all the way up into the Himalayas and we're gonna see how they last I don't know how they're going to do, but I'm just going to send them all up there. That way, we can try to protect our northern land. Hmm. Go to. Let's see. Go to. Alright, this is good. Where are they going to? Pinyin. Send some soldiers right there to Pinyin. Send some soldiers right here to Ningxing. Okay, then we'll send, once we have some more, we'll have some more soldiers sent right there. Let's see, you guys are all going to, you guys are all going to different places. <laughs> like, it's hard to search all you guys. It's kind of also hard to move up on the front, too, without having these guys already, you know, conquered. Okay, well, we have a good, decent amount of um, recruitment men. I'm going to go send them to the forces of Zheng Xing. And as you can see, we are, oh yeah, we're proving our dominance over them pretty hard. Like, we are definitely going to be proving our dominance over these guys. We've almost conquered all of their over underseas colonies. They are rapidly getting pushed back. Okay. There's one problem I see, though, in our front. Oh great, you guys, go right there because you guys are damaged. You guys, go right here because we need to kind of defend that front. It is the fact that we are... Oh man, we are winning serious battles here. Like seriously big. I mean, the war score against these guys is really terrible. Um, it's just bad. I mean, not even... I just got a war score against him. And all these guys would not negotiate out. Ah, that's fine. I didn't really expect them to. Oh, man. Okay, and we're expanding. Shoot. Retreat. 
dang. They got saved by the fact that I cannot move into enemy lands like that. Okay. Looks like, it does look like the Chinese are starting to fin thin out just a little bit. You know, if you weren't honestly looking at this campaign as I was, you wouldn't notice it, but... I, if, if it isn't me, or they really, I see like a little bit less Chinese gigantic hordes. Is it because they're all going over to Russia? It might be because they're all going over to Russia. Because Russia's actually slightly easier to conquer. But Russia's also sending in more men. I'm thinking. No, they're sending it all to that side. So all the men that Russia has is, holy shoot, we are losing that front badly. I wish you guys would call in Spain, France. I really wish we could call in France. But no, I'm not a war leader. Well, it basically, this basically means I'm just going to have to crush all of China before I can deal with all of Germany. Because I can deal with Germany. Once, If Germany was to somehow get all the way over here, I would be able to deal with them. I'm just going to have to somehow deal with the massive hordes of... Okay, yeah, the hordes are starting to push up on me. Um, I think I have enough soldiers to defend myself against whatever pushy pushy. They aren't moving up in here anymore, which is good. I'm glad they stopped that, because that was annoying me. Okay. Bye. And that wasn't really a battle. I already know what battle they're talking about. That wasn't really a battle. That was just me taking them over. Okay. Oh, don't tell me these guys just went. No, they did not. Good. I was about to say, if they really just went, um peaceful I mean if they just went independent I'm gonna be freaking out that is a really bad timing for me and all you guys are just just go right here ah oh, dang go right here we need to send some soldiers in to go help our fallen comrades because I don't think they're gonna be able to long live India Huzzah! Okay, killed more at the Battle of Conchu. Okay, let's kill some of these. Get some more morale by putting in some more. There we go. Yes, there we go. Because they gotta be using really bad troops, and we gotta be using really bad troops. That's the only way this front's gonna be able to hold. Okay, you guys. Stop looking up different men. But move right here so that we can... Actually, move right here... So we're actually getting closer and closer to the truth but we're also kind of pushing back okay we're going to be pushing a little bit down here that way we can basically do that uh, we conquered all of this so if I could get through with Hanoi they're in the satellite sphere of Britain of course they're not going to let me through are you guys going to let me through no but if I increase my relationships enough they might but that would not be worth it at that point um, subject nation not going to do it. Mm. Okay, but you guys are almost done with your conquest over here. Once you finish up that, we'll get more troops, which will be nice. And then, okay, we're going to, I'm going to move these guys a little bit closer to the battlefield because we're going to have to need to spread these guys out to make sure that we have a good even sized front. We could probably use these guys to go push up a little bit over here. Oh, my goodness, that might be a little extension, though. So many things to think about when you're at war with somebody right next to you. Like, we've usually had the luxury of dealing with people that are farther away, and we usually don't have to spend that much military might to kill them, but this is an enemy literally right on our doorstep. So we have to actually fight and think about our movements very, very carefully. So whatever they do, we instantly have to have an, a counter to it. Or at least act like we have a counter to it so that they keep sending more stupid of them. They keep sending men of theirs to go. Okay, so this is a front we're definitely going to have to reinforce. Because that one doesn't look like it's... Yeah, it's not going to hold. It's not going to hold anywhere. So we're going to go send more men to it. To go help it. Just hold on. 13,000 men. This is going to be good. Come on, guys, you can do this. And by the way, somebody, if you guys can, some, I don't know if you guys, anyone will actually do this, but somebody should really calculate how many men we lose in this entire war. Because this is going to be an epic loss to both sides. No side is going to become unsaved, unscathed by this entire war. We are going to be losing massively. Massively. This is like the pinnacle of wars. Russia, you got to get it together. 
Seriously, Russia, you can't get it together? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And then, uh, Germany's not even deployed, are they? See, look at this. France could help us out so much. They could help us. Just look at this. Empty. Oh my goodness. Giving me such a headache. Uh, like I said, the only way we're going to be able to defeat the, uh, this entire war. Oh, I have six men over here. I'm going to start combining some of these little tiny units. Holy shoot, why did, I, why did I not know I have 219 brigade just sitting here? I'm going to go send this up to the southern front. Okay. Uh, should I start? Let's, div let's divide this. Because that's way too many brigades. 29's about good. Okay. Dang. Ch Russia. Stop the Chinese movement. Ah, dang. They don't have another army to stop the Chinese movement. Yeah, their army's basically all dead. Oh, shoot. That means... Wait, that's actually kind of good for me, because then that means that the Chinese will not be worrying about my front for a little bit. Which means I might get away with some good old-fashioned, just kind of inch-by-inch conquer. That wasn't intentional. That just somehow came about at the right time. Okay, you guys move in right there. You can also move in these guys right there. We're gonna, yeah, we're just slowly inching up on the front. Okay. I'm gonna need these guys to be destroyed down here so we can move up. Um, you guys just stay right here until I have my, I have my, like if you guys didn't notice, I did have some backup men coming up from the bottom. So, dang. Send everyone, send the other 50 brigades to go help. Destroy China's forces right here. That's a big battle that we're actually almost losing. There. That's the first time I've ever been fully deployed in a region. That's the first time I've ever engaged someone. This is going to lose a loss of massive power. Okay, we're actually not losing. Send in more men. <laughs> we cannot lose that battle. Okay, we're also... Oh my goodness, that is a huge army. Is that... Are they pulling off some of the army? No, they just have a huge army. Ah, damn. I'm not, I don't even feel like I'm making a dent into the army, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Let me divide the soldiers one more time. Okay, but I'm going to, like, make a good defensive layer right here so that they cannot, even if they try, they will not be able to fight me. Well, I mean, not pass. They will not be able to pass that. So we can have a good stable front of moving in without having to deal with Mongolia's nutria nutri neutrality. Cause that's kind of that's just kind of annoying right there. Okay, so that's not and this is not really an open front. This is just kind of like, hey, let's move in some soldiers right over here. Okay, we got some soldiers moving in right there. Okay, got more soldiers moving in right there. Soldiers moving in right there. Okay, we can move these guys to the front now. Um, I'm gonna go send him right here to go just make sure that we deal with that army. Okay. And you guys can actually split up. Send half of you guys to go over here to the island of Halen. And then we'll be able to spread out more over here. Man. I mean, China's getting pushed, but I don't think I'm pushing hard enough for them to falter. That's... that. I think that's mainly... Our main worry right now is I'm pushing, but I'm not pushing hard enough for them to fall. Do not go. If they're requiring you to go, that's not good. Yeah. Let them attack. Okay. Send these guys to the front. Okay. Who's going to stay behind and go conquer the rest of this? Once that province is gone, that means we just destroyed the Chinese. I mean, the Chinese are doing pretty bad here. Russia is kind of holding these guys off, but they're really losing. Very, very slowly. Um, if Russia was to get out of this war, would I be able to do my war goal? Uh, probably. But we're still winning this by a lot, just due to me. Like, 
if if Russia wasn't in this war, like pardon me for saying that, but if Russia was not in this war, we'd probably be winning this by a lot. And I mean a lot. Let's see. And I'm kind of surprised my computer is taking all this, like, massive troop movement right now. Because it's pretty dang... Ah, oh, dang. Something just happened. Okay. Colonial management. Okay, another big battle won. Um, keep my soldiers right there. Do not move any of my soldiers. Okay. Those soldiers are going right there. I'm, I'm going to have to wait for my front to level out a little bit. Before I do anything else, because my front's a little bit weird right now. I don't know where any of my soldiers are. And that's a good they all died. Okay. Yeah. The Chinese are definitely losing a lot of people in this war. I don't I I, I would estimate the losses are somewhere in the hundreds of thousands. Oh my goodness, China. Oh. It's still sending they're still sending more. Oh my goodness. It's mainly this area. This area is like the the most crucial. So if we lose that, we lose... Oh my goodness. Russia, you are honestly a terrible ally. <laughs> you haven't... Like, I'm sorry, Russia. You haven't helped much. I'm doing... I, look how much I've done. Look how much you just, like... Oh my goodness. You guys have not helped. You're actually hindering our process of winning this. It's a good thing I didn't call on these guys. Because these guys are having their own internal issues. Okay, and these guys are almost here to come help us out even more. So I most likely need help with the northern front more. Because it looks like the northerns. Okay, now I can actually see what I'm moving in on. Okay, moving on this. Moving on this. Looks like I have more of my troops moving in down there. Okay. Okay, you guys are moving to the back of my country, which is not... What I approve at all. It's not even fair. Okay, you guys move right there then. You guys move right there. Okay. We're all... Okay. I'm still... What the heck? Did I engage... Oh, shoot. I may have inadvertently engaged these guys. Okay. Go kill these guys, by the way. Um... Yeah, we're gonna have to defeat some of these, uh, Asian... Asian armies over here. Otherwise, Russia's just not going to be able to get together. They're way too scattered, and I need this front stable. At least stable, so I can fight them. 42. I mean, they have an army over here. Why? Persia should not be using that army to go attack Germany. I think the German front is kind of lost. I think what we need to be concentrating on is trying to defeat the rest of, um... Well, I'm not really in this war, so, yeah. But, like I was saying, we just need to defeat the rest of, um, these guys, and then we can start dealing with our own, you know, issues over here. I'm gonna go have these guys go attack over here, because that front, that front, that battle's been going on for a long time. And we need that one. Like, we need that one. There's no other way around it. We need that battle to be won by us. So we have to go play, kill all the troops. Ah, shoot. Shoot. Give up us. Uh, go in there, go kill them. Okay, good. Actually, wait, we have a... We actually don't need to divide our troops. Our troops are already over there killing them. Okay, and stay right here. I mean, we've almost... I'm getting really close to Beijing, as you guys can see. We're getting really, really desperately close to Beijing. We need to kind of round out the southern part a little bit before we can get there, but... We're basically getting there. And we have much... Much in the way of manpower. Okay. And you guys, you guys... Divide the troops. Okay, that's not too bad of loss. But over here, dang. I'm gonna have to stop this advance, otherwise we are dead. Okay, the Battle of Gongjing. 
kind of knew that would end in all win. It's going to end in all win anyways. Okay. Um, that's going to end in all win now. Now because I stabilized that. Alright. If I can't use this army right here, I need it. Mm. Man, this is just like a big war. And we're trying our best, guys. I'm not giving up on this war. I mean, we're, it looks like we're rapidly winning, but the problem is, is that the Russians are also costing us a lot. Like, to just, to just, it's, it's maybe not intentional. I understand that. It's maybe not intentional that they're costing us so much, but they are costing us so much. Uh, I could split them up even more, but I think that just getting Gunzai away from the Chinese will be just enough for them to just say, hey ho, this is not a good idea. Let's get out of here. Lazy Navy need to learn how to adapt. Okay, that front we need to really win at. Okay. Alright, you guys are going right there, you guys are going right there. Okay. We can do a little bit of moving in to try and stop this massive Chinese army from doing any more damage to our allies alright we're also going to move up these guys over here to kinda of prevent any more Chinese men from entering this boundary cause I'm getting really sick and tired of dealing with Chinese men I really am I don't want any more Chinese men entering this neutral zone or whatever you want to call it and right now we are taking down fast. Like we are 